Hello everybody, my name is Elizabeth Cady and I decided to try and show you um, a way of making channel art because I, I noticed a lot of people didn't have it. Um, and it's just, it's so easy to do and you can do some really cool things with it and I, I've heard that it really helps in boosting your uh, ratings and views and subscribers and all that wonderful stuff that we all want. So, um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to PickMonkey.com. It's a cute little website. It's completely free. And it's relatively simple. Um, I'm going to take one of these templates. It's a channel art template. You can usually find them on YouTube or you can Google it. Um, this is where you want to make your um, your uh, <laughs> your banner. Um, but the thing is, is um, you want to make it look really, really, really low. Like, you're going to keep it here for right now. Um, but eventually we will come back to this and make it disappear completely. So that way you do not have these text in your banner. I screwed that up the last time. So, that being said, I want you to pick a background. It can be any background you want. Um, just go and find it. And you're going to go to this little butterfly here. And you're going to choose an overlay. Um, mine, I have this colorful galaxy that I decided to do and I'm going to enlarge it so that way it goes over the area that I want. Put that there. Enlarge it further. So it's right there. Make it fade just a smidge just so I can see where I'm putting it. And it looks like right there is about where I want it. And then you can crank it back up again. Or you can leave it faded. I usually leave it partially faded just so I can see this barrier in here. Um, I want to be able... Oh, look at that. Look at that ad down there. Um, <laughs> I want to be able to see where it is. I can probably come back and change this. I'm not exactly sure, but we're going to find out. I think I can. Yeah, I can come back and change this. So I'm going to leave this partially there so that way I know. And then I'm going to add text. Um, I'm going to do Gypsy Curse because I like that one. And we're going to type in Elizabeth Katie. Highlight it. Size it up. Back text. Ugh, go away. Are you serious? Ugh, give me a second. Okay, I'm sorry about that, but I, I think I finally got it to work. Nope, take that back. Okay, so now that I have my, um, my wonderful name in there, um, now I can start adding things. So one of the things I'm going to add is a piece of my artwork because even though I haven't posted any yet, as you know, I will eventually be posting my artwork. So we'll go with, um, we will go with, um, let's go with my flower girl. Um, I'm going to flip her and enlarge her. Make her look creepy as heck. No, you know what? I'm not going to go with this one. Um, 
I'm going to go with a different one. Just because I don't like the way she looks in that picture. It doesn't do her justice. But I will go with my skull girl. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make her big. Not for the purpose of the thing, but just so I can see better. And then I'm going to take the eraser. I'm going to up the size. And I'm going to bring down the hardness. Bring it all the way down because I don't want it to be ridiculously hard. That is not what she said. Don't even go there. Um, and then I'm going to go and I'm going to erase part of her. And you don't have to worry. It will not erase your background or your text behind it. It is merely focusing on the, um, on your overlay. It, it's not even taking into consideration what's in the background. So I'm going to go through and do that. Go ahead and do it on the other side. Get rid of these corners here. And the whoop! And the hardest part um, is doing this top part here. You just gotta be careful. Um, but then again, people aren't really going to examine your banner, so you don't have to be too careful, right? And going back to basic, I'm going to shrink her back down, put her over here, so shrink, put her here so people can see her, and then I'm going to go over here, and, and these are other layouts that they have that you can do, so you can put a mustache on here even if you wanted to, which, you know what, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to put, um... A, a blue mustache on here just because I want to and um, just pop that right over here maybe just just cuz it's cute why not you know be a little fun with your banner don't be all serious don't be like oh everybody's going to see this no you know what the more fun it is the better um, like this I'm gonna put this on here I'm gonna make it like a royal blue Ooh, that's a pretty lips um, Put that over here-ish because the mustache is over there, so I'm gonna make this kind of small. Put you, put you right here. Kisses, God, I love kisses. Kisses are awesome. Um. Okay, and then we'll go back over here. And as some of you already know, um, I am obsessed with roses, so we're gonna put a big beautiful rose we'll put one we'll put a big one right here and we'll put another big one over here and I think that'll do it for roses um I did like the little critter people up here they're kind of funny and Cute. Oh, buggles. I can put a little ladybug in there, but I'm not going to do that. Cutimals. Oh, there's a teddy bear. That's adorable. I'm going to do critter, though. Um, I'm going to do this little, this little critter here, just because he's angry and adorable. Um, put him down here. Right down here. Okay. So that's, that's my banner. It's a little crazy, but it's kind of cool, and you can do whatever you want. But the one thing I caution you on is when you go to make your banner, there's these little crowns that'll pop up. And they're here, and they're here, and all these little crowns mean is that you need to be a Royal member, which is something you have to pay for. So if you're going the freeway, avoid the crowns. Um, they don't really do anything. If you're somebody who's into doing um, pictures, as in, um, like, you know, professional pictures, and you want to do touch-ups and, and things like that, um, some of them you can do, some of them you can't. But for the most part, it's relatively, um, it's relatively free. So here's the background. Let's go with exposure, contrast, gone. And there goes all those things in the background that I told you about. Um, apply. So, yes. This is this is the cute little thing that we got going on. I'm going to save it. 
I'm going to save it as channel art. Make sure it's JPEG. Um, it's already been sized for you since we used that template. I think you may be able to just Google the um, YouTube channel art template and get it. I got mine because it was an example that was on uh, when I first started my channel up. You may still have it, you may not. It's usually in the like how to do a channel art thing section. Um, so then when you go to YouTube and go to your channel, Yes, I watch Bee and Puppy Cat. Ignore that. That was um that was a different picture. I tried using um a different picture a while ago and um and um <clears throat> and it ended up not working and because it wasn't sized correctly. So I extremely recommend you use that template because the template will just make it work. Uh, versus, see, template just, ah, oh, just makes everything beautiful, just, ah, oh, ah, oh, just perfect, um, select, bam, channel art, that quick, that, that awesome, I recommend you do it, I really think it's, um, I really think it's it can help you. And also, it just makes your channel look awesome. Why not? It's I'm I'm always into color, so colorful things are awesome. I mean, if you want to go with like a darker scheme, um I know uh I know he won't care if I do this, but uh 8 bit Tim also used Pit Monkey. His is a darker scheme, but he's he's got more color in what he's got on overlays than he has as a background. Um, so try it. See what happens. Um, maybe it'll work for you. Maybe it won't. But it's it's something you should look into. So I hope you guys liked it. And hope it works for you. So, bye.